October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Crystal Police are highlighting a new partnership they formed with a victim advocacy firm. The nonprofit Tubman is providing victims and Crystal with legal services and a safe place to spend the night. That partnership started earlier this year. Police connect the agency with victims after an incident. Tubman can offer an overnight shelter or free attorneys to help victims navigate the court system. Trying to make sure that it's safe for them um, and if things go south at some point that they know they can always reach out and we'd be happy to help. So developing that, that trust and that relationship is really core to that piece. Crystal Police are displaying purple lights on their building through October to support victims. Police in Robbinsdale are sporting a new look this month in support of a good cause. During the month of October, many Robbinsdale officers will wear pink patches for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is the first year members of the department are wearing those special patches. The hope is that it will become an annual tradition. The patches are meant to support those who are dealing with breast cancer, those that have loved ones that are dealing with it, and it's in honor of those that have uh, died from it or have had that battle and survived. If you'd like to support the cause, community members can also buy a patch from the Robbinsdale Police Department. Each patch costs $10. All of those proceeds will benefit breast cancer research. A program in the Brooklands is helping area youth kickstart small businesses. The Brooklyn Youth Entrepreneurship Program introduces young people to small business ownership tools. Participants meet up on Wednesdays. This week, they got to tour Brooklyn Park's new small business center. Program coordinator Madison Hurst says the program's been around since 2021, and it's getting a lot of attention. We have a lot of young people in the area that are interested in starting their own business, and so to actually give them concrete examples with um, networking with small business owners and then also help them start their businesses and make sure that they're doing it in a way that makes sense for their specific idea. The program is for young people between 16 and 24 years old who live or go to school in the Brooklands. 17-year-old Maya Foster is one of those students. She's hoping to start a button business. It's helped me set realistic goals. It's not as easy as having the dream and then buying the materials and then going off from there. You actually have to look into stuff and do research on it. The program is made possible by federal ARPA funds. Students like Maya are paid to participate in the program and they're encouraged to use those funds to build their business. There are big changes in the little library in the Northwest Metro. The Osseo branch is now without staff almost all of the time. Rusty Ray explains how it works and why the county thinks it's working out for its patrons. The Hennepin County Library branch inside Osseo City Hall doesn't look different on the outside or even inside. It's quieter than most libraries though because for the most part, nobody is working there. Staff are a phone call away. Um, either using your, your personal device or we have a phone right at the entrance that goes directly to our Ask Us phone line who is ready to answer any type of reference or information request. The one room space can now be open whenever City Hall opens. Our staff come in for a couple hours every day starting at 7.30 and sure enough, residents are, are waiting at the door to get in and use it. Once inside, they can use the same self-service kiosks available countywide. Take my item, as it's describing, Either scan it or put it over this, this little square. It's a feature county leaders say many patrons appreciate. Green means ready. There you go. All three are checked out. I click done. I print the receipt. And I'm on my merry way. While others know that standard libraries are still within an easy drive. Hennepin County has 41 libraries throughout the county. Um, Brooklyn Park's only a couple miles away. Maple Grove is only a couple miles away that offers different, you know, play spaces and things like that. And so for, you know, the patrons that do want that, we're not that far away. And if it's not on the shelf in Osseo, it's not far away either. Patrons can request materials sent from any one of our 41 libraries to be here. And so that access is the exact same that you would get at, like, say, Central Library or Ridgedale or our other bigger branches. But it's, it's reasonable to say that it's a smaller, smaller footprint. But they hope Osseo will continue to check out perhaps a piece of the future. In Osseo, Rusty Ray, CCX News. County leaders say many patrons enjoy that the Osseo branch is open earlier than the other branches. 
Finally, nothing says October like a bratwurst, barbecue, and a boot of German beer. Under Pressure Brewing will host its annual October Meat Fest on Friday and Saturday. That popular event includes a meterwurst eating competition on Saturday. This year, 22 people will be competing to see who can eat a full meter of brat the fastest. It's one of the highlights from one festive atmosphere. Both days we have spetzel, noodle racing, relay racing outdoors. We have beer poking, so if you've never poked beer before, come on in. We have about six different ones we do. Um, all of our German ones, plus the black IPA is wonderful. When you poke it, it the um, head turns into almost like a marshmallow flavor. So come in and try that. That's a hoot. A stein holding contest and live music are also part of the festivities, not to mention an extensive list of fall beers, including a kettle corn ale, a rhubarb porter, and under pressure's popular pumpkin ale.